what is going on guys welcome to a fishing video we are back at it with some more fishing saltwater fishing today we are on the way to buck row uh beach pier it is over in hampton virginia you guys know where buck row is if you guys are in virginia it is one of the places that i grew up fishing honestly and where i learned fishing uh, i always used to catch a bunch of croaker and all that stuff spot out there so we're doing some basic fishing talk today. All I have is a high-low rig with me. I have just the basic rods. I don't have anything crazy set up for anything big. I'm just want, last minute just wanted to come out there and fish. And also have some sabiki rigs. So if you guys don't know the sabiki rigs, they have five hooks. I'll show you guys in the video. We're gonna rig that up, put a little bit of shrimp, and see what we could catch. See if we catch some spots, some croakers, and all that stuff out there. So let's get right into it. Let's go and let's fish. Let's see what we can catch out there. I want to go. That's heavy. Yeah. Tiny. <laughs> croaker. First little yeah. croaker. Nice size croaker. Those are the big two. Speaky rigs. You got a flashlight? Yo, yo, yo. Uh, still a little speaker there right under the light. So these fish are called weak fish. Uh, the minimum here in Virginia is 12 inches and only one per day. They are very similar to the speckled trout, uh, speckled sea trout. They're very similar. At first, I thought they were speckled sea trout, just undersized. A speckled sea trout is 14 inches on the minimum here in Virginia. So I thought these were speckled sea trout, but then looking at them more, I was like, these are weak fish. These aren't sea trout. So if you guys hear me call these sea trout in the video, that is because I thought they were sea trout, but I later realized once I caught one that was a good size, I was like, this is a weak fish. The uh, speckles on it are a little bit different. Like I said, they're very similar, but the speckles are different when you look at them close and the teeth as well. Trout. I don't know why that's scared. Yeah, they're just definitely undersized. I'll let that one go. Got them hooked good. Bait fish with the sabiki. <laughs> they gotta be bigger than this, you think? Yeah, that's really that one. That's it. He said you want some weed stuff? Oh my god, for real. I ended up catching like 10 or 11 of these weak fish. It was definitely a good day out there on a period catching a lot of different species and just catching a lot of uh, fish. It was just non-stop catching. But um, only one keeper from these weak fish caught like 10 of them, had to throw all of them back. Besides one was a keeper. But it was a good day out there catching a lot of fish. It was just non-stop biting of, from both poles. And there was a lot of action. Oh, 
Life load see Charlie's gonna be 14. Way too small. Way too small to keep. Small croaker. Another one, another small one. Honor yours. <laughs> what that you? I don't have no clue. I got on one. Another undersized sea trout. Pretty little fish. Call like what? Eight of these already? That's a fish. That was somebody's line. It's been a fish. Fish and in somebody's line. Oh yeah, that's a good croaker too. It's a keeper. It's a nice one. Schools of fish right here. Just a bunch of fish right now. Bunch of schools. Small croaker on there. Oh, shit. Another small one on the shrimp. Another black sea bass, too small. This is the next day out here, um, back from Buck Row. Good day on the pier, honestly. Good day. Caught a ton of croakers, uh, like five keepers. It was five good sized ones, five keepers caught a ton i thought they were speckled sea trout but looking at them more i was like this doesn't look like the speckled sea trout because the the speckles i know on the sea trout are like dots all on the back and i was just keep looking kept looking at the fish and i was like figuring out it was the weak uh weak fish it's what it's called over here the minimum for that is only one you can only keep one but the minimum is 12 inches so we uh i did catch a 12 incher but it fell. I caught a big one and it was probably, I wanna say, it, it looked like it was 16. It looked like it was 16 and then it fell off and uh, couldn't grab that one. But other than that, all the other ones were probably undersized. Maybe some of them were like right at 12 inches, but I, I didn't measure them because I thought they were they were sea trout at the time and I knew sea trout is 14 inches the minimum. So I was just like, I, I just looked at them and I was like, I know these aren't of size. But a lot of them, I caught a lot of weak fish. I caught like, I wanna say like 13, 13 of those. So it was fun at least, um, you know, bringing them up. Five croakers, caught two black sea bass. One of them was a decent size, but definitely not of size, but black sea bass gotta be bigger. And I caught something else. So I caught a lot of bait fish, a bunch of bait fish that I caught. I put it, I wasn't rigged up for that. I should've took my other rod so I could've, you know, put some live bait on it. So people were catching a shark at the end of the pier. So I, I wish I would have brought my other rod, steel leader, and just bring that that setup just to try to catch a, a shark or something, or maybe a stingray would have bit it. Stingrays are annoying uh, taking them off, but they fight really good. But good day out there on the pier. I'm about to hit this river up right now. 
James River, try to see if I'll get up on some bass today. We're just fishing this week. We've been straight fishing. We came back from OBX and straight went back to uh, you know Hampton area to fish. Probably gonna stop by Virginia Beach this weekend and fish some more. So we got a lot of content for you guys. Try to go out there and catch some Spanish mackerel. That's what I'm gonna be targeting probably. Love Spanish mackerel, but yeah, enough talking. Appreciate the love. God bless. Good day out there at Buckrow in Hampton. It was a good night, honestly. I did not meant to spend so much time out there, but the bite was just crazy. Like the bite was just awesome. Uh, you would just cast and they would be on. Like you would just cast and something would be biting your, your hook. It was all types of stuff, just biting it, all types of little ones. Uh, the bad thing is like, there was a bunch of little fish out there, but you know, caught a whole bunch, but had to throw a whole bunch back. It's important to follow the regulations, follow the rules. This, that's how our fish get bigger, guys. A lot of people don't follow the rules. Uh, I just recommend following the rules, you know, even if the wardens aren't around there, it, it's just, it, it makes it better, you know, it, 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 it keeps our population in the water better, it makes our fishes grow, so just listen to all those rules, they're in there for a certain, uh, those rules are there for, you know, for a certain reason, but good day out there, like I said, Buck Row, caught a bunch of fish, fun day, can't get mad at that, and had some keepers as well, so about to play those later. I'm about to hit this river, go fish, catch you guys next one, fish on. Appreciate it, y'all. God bless, and thank you guys for the support.